If you're watching this video, then you probably know who Zach King is, and maybe you are interested in learning how you can edit just like him. So in this video, we're going to show you a couple of little editing tricks that Zach King uses so you can make videos just like he does. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Filmstock YouTube channel. We are Chris and Christina. We're here to help you make better videos and empower your inner video creator. Just before we get started with this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any future tips and tricks videos just like this one. Zach King is a very popular video creator who does that magic style of video editing. You might think his videos look super complicated to do, but actually there are some little editing tricks that are actually quite easy that he does that we want to show you. We did also do another video just like this, showing you some Zach King editing tips. So if you want to check out that video as well, but after this one. So let's not waste any more time. We'll jump over to Filmora 12 and Chris is gonna show you how to do them. So just before we get into this one, if you would like to try out Filmora 12, then you can download it by using the link in the description below. So as we just mentioned, Zach King loves creating that magic feeling with his video edits. And in this video, we wanted to create some of those cool editing tricks and show you exactly how it's done. So let's just get right into it. The first editing trick that we wanted to recreate is the very popular disappearing trick using a blanket or tile. And it looks a little like this. Okay, so here is how you can recreate this editing trick yourself. First of all, you will need to get your camera or phone and a tripod, and you will also need a tile or a blanket for this one. So go ahead and set your camera or phone up on the tripod and start recording. Now you will need to grab a blanket or a tile, stand in the middle of the frame, hold the tile above your head so that it covers your entire body, and then simply drop the tile to the ground. For this part you just need to make sure that you stay still after you drop the tile for about 10 seconds or so. Now what you want to do is move completely out of frame and record another clip. This will be used when we do some masking later. Ok so now that we have our clips recorded you can open up Filmora 12 and import them. Place your clips on the timeline, first the clip where you drop the tile and then the other clip above it. Now we are going to use the draw mask feature in Filmora 12 to make Christina disappear. Firstly you will want to lower the opacity of the top clip until you can see the blanket from the clip below as we need to be able to see it to mask around it. So to create this mask you simply need to double click on the top clip. Now we just need to click on video and then mask and then draw mask. Now what we need to do is move to the part in the clip just before the blanket is dropped and this is where we will start the masking process. So let's start the mask by adding a point over on the left side of the screen right here. And then the next point will be at the edge of the blanket. Now you want to add a number of different points the whole way around the blanket until we get to the other side. Now you want to place another point over on the right hand side of the screen. Now you want to make a few extra points around the outside of the screen until you meet the first point that you made. Now you want to click this little icon right here, which will place the first keyframe on this clip. Next you want to slowly move through the clip, adjusting your masking points so they fit nicely around the blanket each time as it falls to the ground. This can take a little time, but be patient with it and try to be as accurate as you can. When you get to the point where the tile has landed on the floor, you can simply drag the entire mask down so it covers the screen completely. And that's pretty much it. Now if you have used a tripod and masked things nicely, you should end up with something that looks a little like this. If you notice any spots where your mask isn't accurate enough, then just simply double click on the clip, move back to the masking section and make some adjustments to fix things. Another thing you can do to help make the mask look better is to slightly feather the edge by using the blur strength slider. So just a few quick things to keep in mind when you're trying to do these little editing tricks that Zach King does. First of all, you pretty much always want to use a tripod. This way your camera stays in the exact same position and when you're cutting things together, there's no movement and you don't need to try and line things up. 
which can be a bit of a pain and take some time. The other thing is when it comes to colors, if you're trying to change colors, for example, like you will see in this next example that I'm gonna run you through, um, you wanna make sure that the colors you're changing are quite vibrant so you can easily select those and change the color of them and stuff. If you just have um, very muted colors, then it can be hard for Philomore to pick that color out. It just makes life a little easier if you have bold, solid colors, preferably not skin colored. Okay, so now on to the next example, which is the changing clothes trick. For this one, as we just mentioned, you will also want to use a tripod as it just makes the editing process a lot easier. So you will want to record yourself picking out the item of clothing that you want to wear and then holding it out and slowly pulling it towards yourself just like Christina is doing in this clip. Then you will have to put on that item of clothing and once again doing the same movement pretending to hold an item of clothing this time. It may seem a little strange but it will all make sense later during editing. So just to add another cool effect to this one, snap your fingers and imagine you're changing the color of your clothing. Again, this will make more sense during editing. Okay, so let's get to the fun part, creating the magic during editing. So for the changing clothes part of this sequence, it's actually really easy to edit and simply involves cutting the clips at the right point. So I'm going to move my cursor to the part of the clip where Christina pulls the shirt towards herself and I'm going to cut the clip right here. Then I'm going to skip on to the part when she has the shirt on and does the same movement again. And I'm going to cut right as her hands come close to her chest. And now if we play it back it will look like Christina just performed some sort of magic trick to change clothes. So there are two ways you can do this trick and it depends on the colour you are wearing and where you're filming the clip. So when doing a trick like this, it can be made a little easier if you're wearing green and there's nothing else green in the shot. If this is the case, then you can simply cut the clip right as you click your fingers and then go to the color tab and then HSL. And now in here, you can change a particular color. So for example, you could change the green to more of a blue and this is just super easy to do. So that is the easiest way to do it but it may not always be possible, so the other way is to use a mask just like we did. So first of all, what I did was place my clip on the timeline. I then cut the clip right where Christina clicks her fingers. Then I copied this part of the clip and pasted it above, so now I have two of the same clip, one on top of the other. Now on the top clip, I added a mask by double clicking on the clip and then selecting video, AI tools, and finally smart cutout. When you have selected Smart Cutout, you will then need to draw over the area in the clip that you want to mask out. So for this clip, I drew over Christina's shirt until it was totally covered. The Smart Tool will try its best to guess what you're trying to select, and it usually does a pretty good job, but sometimes you will have to remove little areas if it selects skin or hair, for example. When you have done this, the rest is actually quite simple. You just need to click the Smart Cutout button, and the AI will move through the clip and mask out the area you have selected. And for this example, it did a great job, which saved me a lot of time. Once this is complete, I can now go back to the HSL section and adjust my colors. For this one, I just added a lot more color to Christina's shirt by increasing the saturation of the blue tone and also the hue to make it more of a striking blue color. And now as Christina clicks her fingers, her shirt changes from an almost gray color to a much more vibrant blue color. And here is the final result. A quick and easy little trick which is fun to do and always looks good. So now you have a few more editing tricks in your bag to edit like Zach King. As always with these videos, those are just a few examples and a few little tricks that he's done. But if you keep these tricks in mind, you can use them in many different ways to create your own little editing tricks. If you want to watch part one of editing like Zach King, there is a video here on the Filmstock YouTube channel where you can check that out. And just before we finish, remember to hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any future videos like this one. Have fun editing like Zach King, keep creating and we will see you in the next one.